And we're learning new details tonight about the man arrested in connection with the murder of a woman in Pompano Beach. This surveillance video captured the moment the victim either fell from or was pushed out of a moving car. CBS 4's Amber Diaz has a story live for us tonight from the jail in Fort Lauderdale. Amber. Well, Francis, first and foremost, I can tell you whether she was jumped or pushed, it doesn't matter at this point to her parents who are absolutely besides themselves. I spoke to both of them tonight, and now they want answers as to what happened to their little girl. If they give him the death penalty and take his life, I wouldn't feel no sorrow at all. Leo Fair is usually a forgiving man, but on the day he found out his daughter had been murdered, his heart filled with hate. Right now, I have no no uh, forgiveness in my heart for that coward. His daughter Cassandra either jumped or was pushed out of this light Escalade as it drove north on 18th Drive, Pompano Beach. BSO detectives say she'd been shot multiple times. Her body wound up on the roadside. She died at the hospital. Fair was only 30 years old. It's just something I just don't understand. You know why? You know why this? Why this cow want to, you know, hurt my daughter, kill my daughter? You know? The investigation revealed she'd been with this man, Romeo Smith. They were seen together inside this convenience store. Witnesses tell police they'd been arguing. I would never be the same. Cassandra's mother, Carlotta, lives in Texas, so we spoke with her over FaceTime. In all this grief, she believes her daughter didn't just fall from that car. I believe that my daughter jumped to get away from him. I truly believe that. The court does find probable cause. Smith may be spending the rest of his life in a prison cell, so, but uh, even though police believe they found their guy, Leo knows nothing will bring back his girl. Just don't believe it, you know, I mean, because everyone knows that Janae wouldn't hurt nobody. She wouldn't do harm to no one, you know. And tonight we know that Smith is being held without bond. And for Lauderdale, Amber Diaz, CBS 4 News, tonight.